Imagine two people unwrapping a chocolate bar. Um, one person has a bite out of it and goes, delicious. Another person takes a bite out of it and goes, <coughs> revolting. Uh, question. Is one of those two people deluded? Is one of those two people wrong? See, this is the way one must approach value. Um, it's not the same thing as arithmetic. Um, and when you start doing with what I guess Nietzsche said, the transvaluation of all values, things start to look weird um, to the uninitiated, I guess. And you're entering into a different, I don't know, different kind of existence where good and evil get blurred and kind of disappear. And you sort of say what, after a while you get kind of wary of terms like that, right, wrong, good and evil, up, down, etc. And it's a peculiar way to look at the world because you're rejecting all ways that look at the world. Or perhaps you're not rejecting all ways, but you're rejecting the absolute correctness of any one of those ways. You're, in fact, you're actually embracing every possible way at all time. This is not easy. This is an alien way for most people uh, of thinking. Most people will say that's rubbish and it requires way too much mental gymnastics and I just don't see the point of doing it. That's fine. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to do that. Um, the, the whole point of trying to alter or manipulate the value of things is almost that the values that are being fed to you, which seem to be good enough to everyone else, don't really cut it for you. Uh, it's almost, you, this kind of a point of view is almost by nature, by fundamental nature, a minority one. Uh, because you, in, in most societies, you have values that people just accept. You can't bring yourself to do that, even though you don't really feel like teaching anybody else that their value system is wrong, or you've learned the complete and utter pointlessness of trying to do that. Um, what you've, what you're really attempting to do, or what I'm attempting to do in this point, in this way of seeing things, is to come to terms with reality for what it is and to understand that we do have control. Again, I used the word proharesis in my previous video, where maybe the universe is determined, but how we assimilate the universe into ourselves and uh, assimilate the universe with ourselves is in our control, or it's in something's control, or it's not an absolute thing that just is blindly happening with no subject-object. Um, something is placing value on a universe that really doesn't seem to have inherent value. Um, I'll go back to the chocolate bar thing. Is taste a question of good and evil? Does a Snickers bar inherently taste good or bad? Um, I would say that that's sort of, you know... <laughs> quote somebody else. That's a question that goes beyond good and evil. What is done in love goes beyond good and evil, right? Um, you might love something that you know is not particularly good or you don't believe is good. Uh, you, Hitler's mother comes to mind. I don't think most people would fault Hitler's mother for loving him because we assume that that's just the way things are. Mothers love their children regardless and we don't generally don't challenge that. Um, if you like a chocolate bar for its taste, you like it. If you don't like it for its taste, you don't like it. Absolute value doesn't even come into that. 